And today's video guys, I'm going to show you how you can get more FPS on basically any PC in Valorant and also fix high latency on your monitor and mouse, which is overall going to give you the most responsive gaming experience. And trust me, it will make such a huge difference in the end because I'm going to show you all the tricks which you can do on your PC to overall speed it up a little bit, you know, get a little bit less input delay. And as mentioned, also how to get a sharper and more precise picture on your monitor at the end of the day. If you guys enjoy this type of content, please don't forget to leave a like and I'm going to show you every Everything you guys need you don't have to download anything whatsoever and it's all gonna be super simple lean back and enjoy so guys and now i'm just going to show you a few simple steps which i want you to copy which are 100 safe in order to boost your fps in valorant and all you guys gotta do in the first place is go into your windows search bar and just simply type in ms config guys just like that here press enter on it and then you should already see another system configuration where we're going to click on to boot then you can select your operating system click onto advanced options and once you're in here you have now here a number of processors which you're going to check and what you want to do is put it to the maximum amount of your threads if you have a ryzen 7 like me you should probably have something like 8 cores 16 threads if you have a ryzen 5 it should be something like 6 cores 12 threads just somebody make sure that you select the maximum amount so we make sure all of our threads are selected on our windows and are working towards gaming then we're going to click onto ok click onto apply click onto ok and now it's going to tell us that you may reset your pc but we're going to do it later on because we of course first of all want to do the other steps in this next step now we're going to go again into our windows search bar type in performance until we can find adjust the appearance and performance of windows open it up real quick guys and you can already see here on my windows that i have no fancy animations whatsoever when i move here this window around you can see it's just like the pure border itself and what you guys want to do is click onto adjust for best performance but i want to give you a small tip also make sure that show thumbnails instead of icons is actually enabled because if you're going to go into a folder with like clips or something like that you actually want to have the preview i mean if you're trying to create like content or something it's just nicer you know so therefore first of all click onto adjust for best performance and then again check here show thumbnails instead of icons click on to apply and then we already set here then this next step we're going to go again into a windows search bar and just simply type in startup guys and once we get it here we have now startup applications click onto it and what i want you to do is go through this whole entire list real quick figure out for yourself okay which of these do i really need while launching my pc let's just say as an example that you don't edit like super frequently you can also completely turn off the creative cloud here of adobe what you can also do is, of course, Microsoft Edge. Then we maybe have some other tools here. I don't know, Steam, some stuff like that. Just simply go here real quick through it, guys, and make sure that you disable everything which is unnecessary to you. Maybe something like Battle.net here, since I barely play Overwatch or Modern Warfare, so therefore I can just simply turn it off here. And once we're in here, guys, we also can take here actually a look at apps for websites, click onto it real quick, and there you can now disable everything which is somehow associated with applications and websites, especially maps which are somehow saved on your PC. I don't have a clue why because I never used something like the built-in Google Maps feature of Windows so therefore please make sure to turn it to completely off and then we can also go here into apps and features real quick and scroll again through a huge list with a ton of tools which we can maybe even uninstall something like Disney Plus never gonna use it so therefore I'm uninstalling it and then just simply go through it and try to delete as many as possible then this next step guys we're gonna again go into a search bar and type in temporary until we can find delete temporary files system settings open it up and you can see in the first place your local disk C yeah? and this is like the most important one basically because you most likely have your windows on there and you can already see here guys now if we're going to take a look through everything we should now see here apps and features videos and temporary files this is the one which we want to focus on so we're going to click onto it and you can see here straight up guys I have around 15.9 gigs in download files. My recycling bin is 23.8 gigs. And basically, if I just select my recycling bin, right now not the downloads actually because I've got some sound effects in there which I kind of need, but definitely do that if you don't have anything in there. Of course, guys, you know, just simply try to free up as many space basically on your PC as possible. Also here, temporary internet files, system error, mini dump files, you don't need those, and delivery optimization files, also super important. And then we're gonna click on to remove files. And then we should see that we've got a huge chunk of data again freed up on our hard drive, making our PC a lot faster and performing better. For this next step, guys, it doesn't matter if you have the NVIDIA control panel on a GeForce graphics card or AMD Catalyst, they are available in both of them. And what you guys want to do is make sure to go to manage 3D settings. I don't know right now how it's called on AMD Catalyst, but it should be kind of similar. And what you guys want to do is search for the low latency mode. And hear me out here, guys, yeah? This is basically personal preference because so many pro players 
themselves even say that the low latency mode on on feels better than on ultra but some also say that ultra feels better than on so therefore a quick tip which i have to give you guys is try out first of all on you know hop in a game maybe play like one or two matches and if you feel like ayo it doesn't really feel that good try to switch it maybe over to ultra and yeah you have to like find it out for yourself because this is really personal preference some people say that they have more latency on ultra instead of on but personally i gotta say on works the best way for me so i'm gonna apply it here and then probably should be down below here now this apply button which you're going to click and it's fully applied and what this low latency mode pretty much does is also in the description the latency control reduces latency by limiting the number of frames the cpu can prepare before the frames are presented by the gpu this means overall you're not gonna have screen theory and you're not gonna have a corrupted image on your monitor which is super necessarily well competitive gaming because yeah you need to see clearly and have the best vision possible and if you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me so so much and if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below i try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace